So you're thinking of moving to East Vancouver, but you're not quite sure which area or neighborhood might be right for you. Well, in today's video, I'm going to break down the top five neighborhoods in East Vancouver, and we're getting after it right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. I was actually named one of the top 50 video influencers in real estate in North America for the past two consecutive years for the way I utilize video to sell my clients' homes and educate them as well. Today's video is all about the top five neighborhoods in East Vancouver that's going to fit your lifestyle. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love, and own here in Vancouver. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell as well so you can be notified the moment that I have a new video out about what it's like to live here in Vancouver. All right, let's get into it. East Vancouver is divided into 18 sub areas and in this video, we're looking at the top five. The boundaries of East Van are as follows. From east to west, Main Street to Boundary Road and north to south from the Burrard Inlet to the Fraser River. We're kicking things off with number five in the South Marine sub area. This area is rapidly growing and includes the River District. Now the River District is the last master planned waterfront community by property developer West Group. It is a 130 acre modern and environmentally friendly commercial and residential development along the Fraser River. All of the buildings are of a lead gold standard which means they're constructed in an environmentally friendly way and designed to conserve both water and energy. The property is also designed to be community focused and have lots of green space. The River District is bordered east to west from Kerr Street to Boundary Road and north south from the Southeast Marine Drive here to the Fraser River. The neighborhood features a 1.5 walking and cycling path along the waterfront as well as children's play areas. This neighborhood is only 20 minutes to YVR and Metrotown and only 25 minutes to downtown Vancouver. Most of the homes in this neighborhood are condos and townhomes. So if it's a detached home you're looking for, you may want to check out our number four sub area, which is Fraser View. So as you can see, it started pouring rain and most likely for the rest of this video, I'm going to be either in my car or undercover somewhere or in some sort of coffee shop or restaurant recording the rest of myself on camera while I'm outside with an umbrella and my gimbal shooting whatever B-roll needs to be shot. Fraser View sits just above the South Marine sub area and is bordered by Knight and Kerr Streets east-west and 54th and Southeast Marine Drive north-south. Now, as I mentioned, this area is filled with detached home options. So if the River District isn't for you, you and your family need more than a condo or townhouse, this might be an area to look at for you. And the largest attraction in this neighborhood would definitely have to be the Fraser View Golf Course. So if you're a golfer looking for detached home options, the Fraser View area might be one for you to check out. Now, this area is currently sitting at a 38% sales ratio for detached home options, putting it in a seller's market. Our number three neighborhood is Strathcona, which is in a seller's market for both attached and detached homes at the moment. Strathcona is bordered by Main and Clark Streets east and west, and Great Northern Way and the waterfront north and south. With its proximity to downtown, it's no wonder that this area draws many people. But the Strathcona neighborhood is complex and diverse. It's home to such things as the Emily Carr University for Art and Design, Strathcona Park, and the famous La Casa Gelato. But it is also home to a large portion of the downtown east side, an area and community that our city still struggles to care for. The western edge along Venable Street are where the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts into the downtown core are going to be removed and the traffic brought down to street level. There's a terrific video by the YouTube channel about here titled Why We're Getting Rid of a Highway in Vancouver. It explains why the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts are being removed. I'll put a link to that video down in the description below for you. Our number two neighborhood is the main sub area.
This area is bordered by Prince Edward and Ontario streets east and west, and 16th and 49th avenues north south. The main sub area is also in a seller's market for both attached and detached homes at the moment. Vibrant, eclectic, and diverse all describe this fantastic neighborhood. With amazing food spanning many ethnicities as well as its proximity to downtown, it's no wonder that many people are drawn to this neighborhood. It's also right next door to our number one neighborhood, which is Mount Pleasant. This sub area is bordered by Camby and Clark Streets, east and west, and 16th and Great Northern Way, north and south. I absolutely love the Mount Pleasant neighborhood, and it's pretty obvious that many other people do as well, because it's sitting at a 42% sales ratio at the moment. Breweries, restaurants, and of course, Dude Chilling Park are all part of this vibrant neighborhood. Now, if transit is something that you're looking for in a neighborhood, well, Mount Pleasant has you covered. You've got the SkyTrain with easy access to downtown, and then along Broadway, you've got all the buses as well as the Beeline bus if you're heading out to UBC. Of course, many people opt to use their bicycles living here in Mount Pleasant, with all the bike lanes and bike paths and the proximity to downtown, it certainly makes sense to use your bicycle when you can. And those are your top five neighborhoods in East Vancouver. As I mentioned, I'm Craig Veroni with Remax Masters Realty. I'm your local real estate agent here in Vancouver, BC. So if you have any questions, if you're moving here or relocating here, be sure to shoot me a text, send me an email or contact me on my mobile number. I'm happy to answer any and all of your questions. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to live, love and own here in Vancouver, BC. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell as well so you can be notified the moment that I have a new video out. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if so, please hit that thumbs up button and give the video a like. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd really love to know what your favorite neighborhoods are in Vancouver. I've shot a ton of videos about the various neighborhoods here in Vancouver and will certainly be featuring many more in the upcoming weeks. But if there's a specific area or neighborhood that you're interested in or would like me to feature, make sure to leave that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And remember, this is where you live. Love. Own Vancouver. Vancouver.